channel. This is my normal voice. I always talk like this. Nope. It's me, Aspie Mitch. Who am I? It's not important. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter and you can subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this that are very focused and I do tons of giveaways too. Just kidding. I don't feel like buying subscribers. There we go. Hello, pals. Welcome to the only reason people watch this channel. It's Peter Box Friday. We'll add pancake too, but. Hey, this box comes to us from Soul Supremacy, soulsupremacy.com. Uh, basically, these are boxes filled with shoes in various sizes and conditions that you need a membership to purchase and the memberships are closed and the owner has said he's not opening them again. So there's really no pitch involved. This box is uh, $750 plus $50 to ship it here to Chicago, Illinois. Brand new home of Andy Dalton. <laughs> for a grand total of $800. Hey, Clarence, it's a counter. I'm not gonna explain what a counter does because there's enough mystery box videos to explain what a counter is and I'm sure you know what it is. But uh, stick around to the end because I show you how much the perceived market value of the box is versus how much I paid because everyone is so interested in knowing how much money I make off these boxes. And, and rightfully so because you guys have probably seen some bad boxes from other places, but Soul Supremacy boxes are always the best. So let's see what's in this puppy. Uh, Y'all, this used to be the best price range, but $875 boxes have been absolutely crushing it lately. So this box is still pretty, probably be good. But if the new trend shows us anything is that the $875 box is the best there is right now. There's a black box Nike SB right on top. Awesome. Cool. I'm definitely down with that. It's a blazer, so I'm going to hold on to it for later. No, I'm going to probably open it quicker, but there are some loose pairs. <sighs> so there is a... Foam posit. It looks like a sort of bigger size, probably like a 10 or an 11. Yeah, it's a size 11. These are the Gone Fishing Foam Posits. Uh, these are worn. There's a lot of outsole, discoloration, a lot of drag. Wow, that's really bad. Um, so these are going to be beaters for sure. Uh, but they do say Gone Fishing on the insole, which is kind of cool. It's got this little bony boy on the back here. Kind of a weird, I mean, I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up, but it's, it's like a scaly, iridescent looking upper. These are cool. They're loose pairs and they're a size 11, so there's probably not much value in here, but yeah, there's a good amount of outsole wear and drag and stuff like that. No big deal. Size 11. Gone fishing foam posits. Hey, if you want to buy those, I'm going to be cleaning them up and putting them on my website today at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can find that website by going to sbmitch.com in your internet browsing application. There is another loose pair. It looks like a grade school pair. Yeah, six and a half youth. Jordan 13. These are history of flight Jordan 13s, I believe. I'm not 100% sure, but it's basically an all white Jordan 13 with some red hints and black laces. I mean, it's a cool looking shoe. There's no patent on it or anything like that. There is some scuffing going on around here. So not the greatest size. Kids shoes seem to be a little bit harder to move, especially used ones, but can't really complain. Insole wear is definitely there, uh, but there you go. Clean and simple colorway, just a smaller size, six and a half. History of flight, Jordan 13s. <sighs> well, there's some Yeezys in here. I'm getting the Adidas out of the way because I would feel bad opening Adidas before I opened a Nike SB box, even if it is a blazer. Here we got a size 11, 350. I don't even know what colorway this is. Oh, okay, that's weird. I do know what colorway it is. It's a Beluga 2.0. This is actually a really, really nice colorway. I will say that. It's like a darker version of a zebra. Um, these are worn. Good shape though. You can see insole wear. Pretty minimal. All the lettering is still there, it looks like. Not much heel drag, not much discoloration on the boost. Just a cool looking pair. I mean, this is one of the Yeezys. This is one of the 350s that did okay value-wise long-term. I've said on my channel many, many times, I do, really don't like getting Adidas because the value seems to steadily go downward. But these actually are one of the few colorways that have maintained as far as I know. And it's a good size too, a little bit bigger. Size 11, Beluga 2.0. Let's do this one. I'll skip this and do an Adidas later. Size 11, Jordan Delta. So these are actually kind of cool. It's Vachetta Tan. Yeah, it says Vachetta Tan on the uh, colorway on the box, but it's a dead stock pair. It's a size 11. Can't really complain about that. I mean, it's not a bad color at all. It's got a React outsole, which is very cool. So it's super comfortable, I'm sure. I don't know if this is considered a performance basketball or just like a cross trainer or something like that, because uh, I don't pay attention to stuff like that. But this is a really kind of nice colorway. It's not something I'd wear. I doubt the Resale value is going to be very high. Retail is 130. Cool looking colorway. There you go. Size 11. Jordan Delta in a Vachetta Tan colorway. Another weird Nike box. It's a size 12. 
This might be one of the um, recycled ones. I forget what they're called. Oh no, it's a pair of the craters. All right, pretty sure these are worn. Yeah, I'm pretty sure these are worn. It's a pair of the crater Air Jordan 1. Um, they do have zoom. It's a zoom air insole, I would assume, or maybe it's in the outsole. I don't really know much about the tech of these, but it is kind of like a repurposed, like recycled Jordan. I mean, the outsole is just kind of wild. It's made up from shredded up bits of other insoles, but um, there's not really any signs of wear. I'm gonna go with my gut and say these are worn, but if they are worn, man, they are lightly worn. So size 12, good size two crater jordan ones interesting i haven't seen those before size 10 and a half fear of god moccasin as you guys know jerry lorenzo went to adidas because i'm sure they backed the brinks truck up truck up for him um, these are worn but this is the black colorway of the moccasin it's just a very simple strap no laces kind of thing it does have this like drawstring on the back they're not super dirty or anything like that this is simplicity at its finest um, and I use the word finest without knowing what it means apparently the, I don't know if the value on these shot up or anything because Jerry Lorenzo did leave Nike but you didn't really leave Nike you just joined Adidas ten and a half fear of God moccasin interesting two more in here I'm definitely saving the blazer SB for last I guess got a size 14 Oof. 500 this is actually a good colorway to get and they are worn but they're in very very good shape this is the utility black Yeezy 500 in a size 14 I don't really know if, si if bigger sizes on these do well at all to be honest with you but I do know because it is a triple black colorway it will be worth something size 14 don't know how much of something it's gonna be worth but still a good still a good shoe uh, minimal minimal outsole wear the insole wear is pretty minimal too these are really clean they just need a quick cleanup and they'll be good to go it's just an unfortunate size i think i'm not even sure size 14 yacht gang yeezy 500 and utility black or core black <laughs> color me, whoop utility black that's what it's called and just because things shook out that way we got a black box nike sb as the last shoe it's a size 10 and a half blazer sb this is actually a really good era of blazers i will say black box is probably my least favorite era of dunks but the blazers like the milk crates were this era there were a couple other ones that uh were really good but let's see what these are oh <laughs> cool so these are worn but they're really good shape actually there's very little heel drag so this is this is the uh todd jordan uh, blazer SB it's got this like wool upper and it's all plaid the insole I think it's like wood grain or something like that it is a zoom air insole you can see yeah but it's like Nike SB wood grain on it yeah interesting colorway uh, looks like there are secondary laces in here too which is very cool I don't know how I feel about wool skating shoes they might be a little more a bit a little bit a little bit more durable but blazers are great blazers and Bruins are probably in my opinion the best two Nike skateboarding shoes in terms of performance for skating uh, there are very many other brands out there that are way better that aren't Nike but can't really complain interesting shoe canvas swoosh suede on the heel tab yeah this is a really cool shoe huh I haven't seen these in years I've actually never seen them in hand I've seen them at like stores and stuff like that way back in the day but here's your last shoe out ten and a half Todd Jordan blazer SB very cool that's a $750 soul supremacy beater box this, this box isn't too bad I'm trying to figure out the X factor of this box but it doesn't look like there is one let's look at the numbers and see what this thing says look it up I looked at all this stuff up afterwards but I think this box is pretty good we'll say the two adidas isn't here as much as I give guff to a of getting adidas in these boxes was that a sentence probably not as much as I complain about getting adidas in these boxes those are actually two really good models to get uh, because they're muted simple colorways that aren't the normal Yeezy brown or beige that we're used to seeing so pretty good box I'm just kind of jazzed at those Todd Jordan SBs I think those are pretty cool hey if you want to buy any of these and they don't sell on goat first which is a very very good possibility because this video probably doesn't release for mm, three weeks from today two weeks from today actually go to my website today at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time 
Their website is spmitch.com. They will be available for sale. Free shipping on orders over $250. And we ship to Canada now too, which is pretty cool. Yeah, check it out if you really want to. And also, before those shoes go on the website, I do clean them and disinfect them with the Rejuvenator family of products. If you want to save some money on your Rejuvenator order, use my code SBMitch10 at checkout and you will save 10% off your entire order. And they do have free shipping. So it's not like you're just saving on like a little bit of shipping. You're actually saving on the entire order, which makes a difference. So I use this stuff a lot and I think it's really good. I think you're even better too. Wait, no. I think you're really good too. Not in terms of being a cleaning supply or solution thing, but just as a human being, because you rule. Thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. I appreciate it. We'll see you sometime soon for some kind of other video because that's what a YouTube channel is for, I guess. Till then, take care of each other. Remember to keep sneakers fun because they're supposed to be fun. Bye.